So a couple of weeks ago, we did water drops onto a glass plate with an iPad underneath it. In this video, we're doing something a little bit similar to that, but instead of water drops, we're going to be using skeleton leaves. So we're going to be having a play with skeleton leaves. In particular, I want to do like a silhouette of a skeleton leaf. Now the skeleton leaves is something I came across when we did a macro adventure and I found some leaves that had rotted away, but only the tissue of the leaf had rotted away, leaving the, uh, the veins or the skeletons intact. But you can buy these on Amazon. There's a link in the description below if you want to get yourself some of these uh, skeleton leaves. They come in a variety of colors. You've got like plain and colors. To be honest with you, I do prefer the plain ones over the coloured ones, but we are going to have a play with those. So let's get this quickly set up because it's basically the same setup that we did for the water drops on the plane of glass. So we're going to take, first of all, the iPad. And this time I haven't downloaded any images for this particular one. What I'm going to use is gradients in uh, the background. So if I just go to my uh, Safari, I can type in color gradients. We will then switch over to images. And then on there, I've got a bunch of gradients I can pick from for the background. So I'll lock that for now to save the battery. And of course, as always, you could use uh, printed backgrounds. These are my backgrounds that are available on my website. You can always go and grab some of those, print them out and put them underneath the glass and have that as your background. But if you do it that way, you have to have some sort of light on the background. So this way, using the iPad, I can just use the iPad screen as the light and the texture. And again, I'm planning on doing some sort of silhouette for this particular shoot. And next, I need to get my camera and invert it. So if you haven't got a tripod that you can invert, I highly recommend you get one because it is very, very useful to get down low to the ground by simply taking the centre column out, turn it upside down and then plop it in again. So if you give me a moment, I'm just going to get this set up and then we'll be back once it's set up. So first of all, let's bring up a, a gradient in our background. That way I can get a rough uh, idea of the exposure, even though we are going to change it. I'm going to go with this one. Okay, so we've got a rough idea of what the gradient is looking like. Okay, so let's get a skeleton leaf out and let's have a play. So again, my aim here is to try and get some sort of silhouette going with the skeleton leaf. Let's place that onto there. There we go. You can see there we're getting a nice silhouette. So I want to get, um, let me quickly get out. I've just got myself a little screwdriver. And what I want to do is just move that into the middle. Something like that. Now, it's your choice if you want to get a whole skeleton in focus or not. But I'm going to open up my aperture. Just reposition this slightly. There we go. And I'm going to focus it, I think. I want to try and focus it in, uh, in the middle, maybe. Now, the reason why it's not all in focus is the end of it is... Uh, lifting up slightly so if we could get a completely flat one so if you place this skeleton leaf inside a book and flatten it we can get a better picture but let's just uh let's grab this one now again i am on a two second timer and the skeleton leaves they look they look brilliant so let's get a couple more skeleton leaves out and i'm wondering if we can get a really small one. Oh, look at this one that one's got like a, a nice shape to it. Let's have a play with that one. And they move around so much when just, just by touching them. Okay, let's try a different gradient. My iPad's being really, really slow at the moment. That's an interesting gradient there. 
Okay, so I've just turned off the uh, the overhead light for just for the minute because it's it's causing a reflection on my iPad. You can see there. So I'm just going to turn that off. Again, we're on a two second timer. This one, I want it exactly like it is on the screen, so I'm going to underexpose it just like that. There we go. Start having a little play with uh, maybe overlapping some of these skeleton leaves, so we can uh, do something like this. Just overlap them. I think for this one, I want a brighter um, background image. I want a, a nice bright gradient. Let's try this one. There we go. Let's take a picture of that. Beautiful. I think they look beautiful. I'm going to be playing a lot more with skeleton leaves in the future, I think. More importantly, I want to be able to take um, the camera higher up from the actual plane of glass again i can't do that because the uh, the overhead rig is right there and that's it it's just literally having fun again we have different colored leaves that you can use for your skeleton leaves you can also get skeleton flowers and different things like that you can also you don't have to use a gradient background you can use something else you can use colored paper let your imagination run wild but first of all, the first step to this is grabbing yourself some of these skeleton leaves. And you can also make these yourself. I might do a video on how to make them, but before I do that, I have to learn how to make them. So that's it for this project. Go out, get yourself some skeleton leaves, and more importantly, have fun doing it. Just try something. If it don't work, move on and try something else. So I hope you found that useful. Again, show me your images if you wish to on social media. I'd look forward to seeing those. My name is Stuart Wood, and again, as always, I'll see you on the next video. Has been, um... Okay. So let's set this up quickly, because it's roughly the same setup that we did with the water drops on the gas supply, plain glass. <laughs> let's get this quickly set up now, because it's basically the same setup that we did for our water drops on the, um, the, the, uh... <sighs> it's a plane of glass, will ya? Come on.